thought I could find Dr. Romano in here. Hi, Dr. Romano, is that you? What are you doing up there? Are, are you holding some kind of court? Come around, I'll show you a problem on the aldol condensation. Okay, Dr. Romano, but I don't want to be guilty of anything. Oh, look, there's some presidents up there. Wow, I get to come back up here, Dr. Romano? Oh, I can't come around that way. I guess I'll have to come around the other direction. Wow, Dr. Romano, that looks like a jury and a witness stand. I'm kind of scared. Hey, Dr. Romano, what's oh, going on I'd here? I'd like to go over the Aldol condensation. You guys are doing so horribly um, on the study group questions. You're wasting time on um, things like timed exams, and you're not learning the basics. So I might as well go over two Aldol condensations with you. Um, let's take a look at the first one. When you do an Aldol reaction, here you have an aldehyde, and there's an alpha hydrogen, and you're in dilute base. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove off a hydrogen from the alpha carbon. Um, however, if you look here, um, this alpha hydrogen is on an sp2 carbon, which means it's not acidic. So that hydrogen will not come off. So therefore, there's no reaction. You cannot do an aldol, and you cannot remove that hydrogen if it's on a carbon SP or SP2 or SP. Let's look at number two. Well, here you have an aldehyde again. You got the same conditions. And this time you do have an alpha um, carbon. And that alpha carbon has two protons, which are the alpha protons, which means they could come off. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove one off like this. Here's a nice, easy way to do an aldol. You do, you do this first. That's the first mole. Then... What you're gonna do is you add this to the carbonyl of the second. I'll change the color. There's the carbonyl of the second compound. There's an O, there's an H, and then there's the CH2, CH3, and then you simply pick up an H. So it's that simple. So what you're gonna do on the data of the ode exam at lightning speed is to remove the alpha hydrogen from the first one, and then add it to the carbonyl carbon and then just hook them up like this. And then of course, if I ask you what would happen if I heated it up, if you heated it up, you would lose the water and we would get this. So you had to be careful on this one. Do they ask for heat or is there no heat at all? And you would get plus H2O. So this would be the first answer. If I said to you, if you heated it, what would you get? This would be the second answer. This is a must-have question. Two of these are must-have questions that you need to know for the DAT exam. I hope this helps on the aldol condensation and gives you a really good idea of the methodology on doing these type of problems. No mechanism needed. If you go to my other videos, you'll see the mechanism where I form the enolid anion and then attack. But if you understand this, you're good to go. Okay, Dr. Romano, will you be doing any more problems today? I'll be doing many more problems. I'll see you in study group. Good day to you. I'm going to go get ice cream now, Dr. Romano. Isn't that a great idea? Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Let me get down the steps. I hope I don't fall and hurt myself. Sheesh. I just want a little ice cream, Dr. Romano. Good day to you, sir.